Oh, good morning. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. I'm glad that you finally made it. <laughs> yes, I, like I was telling you, my husband is my second authorization code. <laughs> because you know, oh. as an elected official, when you have multiple pages that go through multiple people, when you log in from a different device to know that right. it's you, they send you, you need to another code. For authorization. Yes. Yes. But it's not yes. through your phone because they have to make sure it's somebody you're close to or that's you. So I set my spouse up <laughs> of 23 years <laughs> to be my <laughs> authorization code, and he is not the most tech savvy person. Well, I'm glad it's here. It oh. got, we got we worked it out. Every yes. all got worked out. Yes. And it he is at work. So between me calling and trying to get on and him trying to find out where the code was and trying to tell me what number it was, it was a whole big mix up. But you know what? Alex, I love you. You did it. <laughs> you did it. Thank you, Alex. God bless you, man. God bless you. Bit. Look, the things that we do for our wives, yes. you know, you know, out of love, man. That's what that's that that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. So, so Tasha, man, I, you know, I see you doing some some great things out in Yonkers. Um, um, when it comes to dealing with um this coronavirus, um, um, let people know, like, what what is the condition out in Yonkers? How are how are the people coping and, and, you know, are they getting tested? Uh, you know, because there's also an issue in black and brown communities. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the black doctors associations um, recently, um, a couple of senator, uh, senators, um, United States senators are saying that they want the numbers. They want to stay because that we are not seeing um, the numbers on how it's affecting black and brown communities. Um, and I was on a conference call with a councilman out in New York City, and, and they were saying, you know, the Latino communities, the um, the day worker communities, they're getting re hit really, really, really hard. What do you see in, in Yonkers? Well, um, we asked for a breakdown. We did not receive a breakdown. We were told that they don't have a breakdown because mm -hmm. we wanted to see where the clusters were. As you're stating, we wanted to know where the clusters were so we know where they are. So those are the areas we can concentrate on and educate mm -hmm. on what to do because they are in a cluster in clusters. Mm -hmm. I mean, where I live at, thank God it has subsided because I was seeing people hanging out. I was seeing people sharing cigarettes. I'm like, you know, they're not taking this seriously. Young right. people at that. Yes, and right. my fear, what I got scared about is a lot of these young people live with a grandparent, live with a older aunt, live with people that are up in age. So mm -hmm. when they're out and they're doing these things and they go back home, they could potentially carry these bacteria back. Exactly. Not only that, if they don't have the cleaning supplies to keep the house clean, that's another thing. That is like death knocking at their door. Absolutely. Absolutely. So before it even got this bad, you know, myself, Jose Alvarado, the mayor donated. We we made sure we got cleaning supplies out to the most vulnerable. OK, great, 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 great. That's that that that's that's good. Now, I also see that, you know, you got some skills here. Like like I was I was showing people <laughs> you you, <laughs> you 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 got some skills here. Um, you got look, look, you you doing your thing, you know. You got some skills here, and and you've been um making face masks. Yes. Tell, tell us about tell us about that because that's that's a beautiful thing. Um, and 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 what made you start doing that? Well, what made me start doing it is I have a cousin, Candace Weaver. She's a doctor mm -hmm. in California. Mm -hmm. Um, and she's also an author. She wrote a book, Nia's Puzzle. Okay. Um, and she in entered me into a sewing group called Sewing to Save on, okay. on um, Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, and she let me know, like, it's a lot. It's it's a lot going on that they need masks. They need things like that. And mm -hmm. and being that the way my grandmother brought us up, it was always to give back to the community. So I said, I mean, I'm not rich. I'm not a millionaire. What could I do to give back to my community? So mm -hmm. I'm not 
I'm not a seamstress. My mom is a seamstress, but I knew the basics. My grandmother right. taught, taught me the basics. So I right. knew how to cut a pattern. I made that pattern actually myself. At a, like, really? Yeah, I did. So it was like she taught us how to make patterns, how to make different things out of nothing. So mm. I knew, you know, okay, I can do this. I can do that. So I sat down and I cut some out. I, I even made some for kids. Um, and I said, you know what? I want to give back. Dr. Rabadi is my doctor. He's been there through me, with me through all of this. Um, mm -hmm. He's actually my whole family's doctor. Mm -hmm. So what I to do is to save, you know, to try to save him because I know what he goes through when he goes home and things. So let me donate to the hospital. Let me donate to the doctors, you know, right. the people that are on the front line. That right. actually need this. Because a lot of people, I mean, they said evil things on Yonkers Tribune and said, you know, Diaz is is doing it for show. Diaz is doing it for photo ops. You know, it first started off as Diaz is not doing anything. Then someone corrected them and said she is. Have you not seen what she's doing? Then it went into, you know, she's doing it for photo ops. But anybody that knew me before this, this was always me. This Absolutely. Was me. I'm Absolutely. not being anything that I wasn't born to be. Like exactly. my grandmother, like these little things that she made us do growing up, like um, it's, it's bringing a tear to my eye because it's like the things that she had us doing, we took for granted. Like it's not that I took it for granted. It's just like I was like, why is she making me get up on a Saturday and, and, and go out food shopping? And why is she teaching me how to cook? And why is mm. she teaching me how to sew? And why is she? That's and right. now I know why. That's she right. She actually set me up for the future that I never thought that I would be in this right now. I That's heard right. a lot of the stories of what she went through on going on certain lines to get certain things. Because a, mm. a lot of things that people don't know, my grandmother is of Caucasian descent. And, okay. you know, her and her father got on certain lines to get certain things back then. You mm -hmm. know, they went mm. through the whole thing with the whole bed bug epidemic. They mm -hmm. went through the whole thing of, you know, that flu that was out killing everybody. Right. They went through all of that. So right. these are stories that she told me. Mm. And me listening is what set me up for this. To be able to actually not handle, but, you know, kind of get a grip of this. Because a lot of people are scared. I'm scared, too. People say That's to me, you're out there every day. I know, but this is what they elected me to do. That's they, right. they, they elected me to lead. And like That's Cuomo true. said, you have to be a leader. This is not the time to back down. So any little yes. thing I'm able to do, and those masks was something that I was able to do, I brought it to the forefront. That's Myself right. and my mom. Now, now I see you here. I'm just posting another picture of you here doing, doing, um, doing, doing a lot of other big things. Um, right, 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 right here. You you loading up cars. You got boxes and loading up cars. Tell us, tell us, tell us what, what, what what's going on here that, that you were doing for the for the people. Well, the lovely Lauren Cater and WJCS mm. invited me to come out and actually help them distribute in the community. Because, like I said, a lot of people are they don't want to go out. People are thinking about themselves. So I said, you know what? My friend Nakisha Osborne, she's mm -hmm. always with me when I'm distributing, will come out and will help. So myself, right. Lauren Kata, Mike Kata, Top Class Limo, um, and Wilhelmina, we went over and we got the boxes and we delivered. And Wilhelmina and Lauren Kata were actually in Mount Vernon. Mm. <laughs> so we were all over that day. They were in Mount Vernon. They were in White Plains. You know, we were in Yonkers. And we didn't post every place we went. We just exactly. posted up what we picked up. Exactly. And that was a whole palette. We picked up and someone from DPW came out and helped us pick up as well. So it's a lot of people that are out there that are helping us. So I Good. mean, this is what this is what it's about. Giving back to the community, you know, showing that I think God is testing everyone to see where your heart actually is. And if you're going to give back or are you going to be selfish? You know, I have a family of my own and I've always put the community first because I know I know that I can navigate to get what I need to get for my family. But That's I know right. people out there that can't, they can't stand right. on the line. They can't get up. They don't have a husband. They're single moms. They're single dads. You know, I have, thank God I have my kids that are young. I have my husband. We could get on the line. We could stand. People, they don't have that luxury of doing that. 
So if right. I can ease the burden in any way, a, a box of food. I met a female um on Locust. Um, mm. I delivered to her first time. I've been on Lamartine. I've been everywhere. And these are the things that I'm not posting, but I, I, I've been there. Good. No. One of the, Go ahead, AJ. Go ahead. One of the things we said when we first signed on before you got on, hey, Tasha, is, um, you know, a lot of elected officials, you, you, you see them do these photo ops um, when they're trying to run for office or run for re-election, but you don't see them um, the whole time they're in office. And um, and then when you do, it's just for a photo op. And the beautiful thing about you is this is what you was doing way before you even considered running for office. Like, this is really you and who you are, not because you're a councilwoman now. Like, you were doing the work without the position. And the position just gave you a bigger forum to do more. And for that, um, I, I, I salute you and applaud you. And it was definitely necessary for us to to spotlight you because I mean even when we first did the first article on you, we said you know we we try to salute the unsung heroes. You were one of those unsung heroes. Now people know your name because you're a councilwoman, but you've been doing the work for years. This is not mm -hmm. new. This ain't just something just to look good just because there's a coronavirus. Whether mm -hmm. there's a virus or not. You've been feeding the people for years, and that's you know. So we wanted to give you your props. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I remember the first call I got from Tasha. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to get deep into it, but I oh, told you her, can. keep keep fighting. She like, Yo, they hating, they hating. I was like, <laughs> hey, listen, join the club, girl. They're going to hate. They're going to hate on you. Just keep fighting. Keep being true to yourself and get out there and do for the people. And and look where you are now. Thank you. you. Know? They tried to change me. That's the it, thing. They tried to change me because they said that me being different is not what the people wanted. But it, I am what the people wanted. They wanted different. They spoke in volumes to who right. they wanted to represent them. And exactly. those people that tried to put me down they know who they are. I know who you are. God <laughs> knows who you are. Yes, right. You know, so you didn't you, you didn't take me down. You tried. Exactly. But you did exactly. not succeed. The exactly. people got what they wanted. Exactly. Exactly. And 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 you really did it. And you know, you really did it. And there was some bumps in the road. And there was some wake up calls because I remember we was in that room with one person. And when I said what I said, the, the yo, the look on your face, <laughs> you mm -hmm. were like, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. It was some wake I mean, up calls with some people, but you know what? That's part of it. And um, and you and you're still doing what you were doing when 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 you wasn't elected official, and and you're doing more. Than, than a lot of elected officials that have, that have been in office um, for a couple of couple of terms, mm -hmm. and you know I want to tell you to keep on doing it and and Thank keep you. being yourself. And, and you got a comment from the um from the order, um, Brenda L. Crump said, "Hi Tasha, hello. Continue to do what you do because people are gonna talk if you don't. People are gonna talk if you do. So just keep doing exactly." Of I'm exactly. going to be me regardless. When God made me, he was just showing off. So I know <laughs> those are the words of Remy Ma. So I know that I always have to be ahead of the game. Because if not, they're, they're going to come after me. I know that already. They, they tried to come after me just because I'm from the south side of Yonkers, which was very discriminatory because you are supposed to live in the district you represent. So exactly. how dare you try to tear me down because of where I come from? Exactly. And what they failed to realize is, yes, I was born and raised in the South Side of Yonkers. I will always be in the South Side of Yonkers. But I did not become a product of my environment. Exactly. No, by any way, shape, or form, did I think that I was better than anybody that was around me. I just did not input myself in that kind of lifestyle. I was exactly. a mom 
At the age of 18, four days later, I turned 19. I raised my daughter, my son, numerous of foster children. Right now, through this whole pandemic, my, my cousin is a essential worker. She works in the healthcare field. So I am right now, not only am I being the council person for the District 3, I am also homeschooling a six-year-old. So, wow. yes, on top of making masks, on top of still going out shopping for my family, on top of cooking, on top of still delivering through the community, these are the things that I'm still doing. Wow. And nah, keep, keep, doing, keep doing what you're doing, man. And, and, and keep doing it. And keep doing it because that's what it's all about. And and um, and um and Montika said, Tasha is the truth. Thank heart, you. heart. Oh, no doubt. Thank you. And, yes, <laughs> no and, doubt. and Damon and AJ, I just want to say, and Lorraine and Dr. Bob, I just want to say thank you because you all gave me a platform to continue to do what I do. You know, when the first letdown happened to me, I didn't give up. You know, you gave me a, a spot to co-host. You know, you gave me um, numerous articles in the newspaper. You know, when I had fundraisers and things, you guys were always there because they said she's not going to win. She has no money. She, she's not going to win. It's never been a woman of color. She's not going to win. Everybody said all of those things, and I overcame all of that because That's I right. have people like you guys behind me, and I really appreciate that. I do. No, nah. no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. The, the no, thing about yeah. being a part, the thing about being from the South Side, yo, you, you, you not, your people know you, and they know that you're authentic, and they see you because you're from there. And it, and 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 you some places that some of them elected officials scared to walk it. They 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 scared to go. You know what I'm saying? And you 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 from that area, so you know what I'm saying. The people receive you. you know and what I'm people saying? wouldn't so, step yeah. foot on Lawrence and Saratoga, and I go through there. And yes, it's a lot of gangs that you know gang violence and gangs. But when I go through there, the they respect me. That's they right. Respect me when I go through Bruce, when I go through Lawrence, when I go through Saratoga. Though they respect me, cause they That's know right. they know that I'm the real deal. I'm gonna tell you like it is, whether you like it or not. And I tell them all Please. the time, look, you choose to stand on this corner, you choose to do this. But if you ever feel like you want to do better, come and see me. Come That's see right. Me. Mm. That's right. That's right. You so got another. You got another comment. Um, Sonia Murray said, um. God bless you and keep it going, Tasha. And Thank then you. She put a bunch of hearts and crowns. Thank yep. you. I oh, met yeah. someone online from um, Mount Vernon. She's actually going to come this weekend. I made her some masks. She's she works in the food industry. Um, uh -huh. Last name is Tucker. She works in the food industry and she reached out to me um, and she told me about the conditions that she was working in in the school system. Mm -hmm. So she asked me if I would donate some masks to her. And I said, sure. So she'll be coming this weekend. To meet me. And see, that's what I said too. Like I said, even when they had a fire in Sinead's district, you didn't say, yo, that's not my district. You went and helped your sister in the council. And yes. and I know I personally know that you've 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 looked out for people in Mount Vernon too. So yes. it's like you it's not even like, oh, they're not Yonkers. Mm -hmm. You know, you've come through Mount Vernon several times and looked mm -hmm. out. And and also shout out when when we were first getting the paper out and trying to get it to all the places. You were the, you were the distributor for exactly. all those young kids. Like, if exactly. most people might not have seen the paper if it wasn't for you and Yonkers, because you was you was coming to pick them up or meeting us, and you was hitting all the churches and and the buildings and all that. So you know you helped you helped give us somewhat of a presence in Yonkers beyond like Riverfront yeah. Library and Nippahan, which is the two places we were hitting. You know what I'm saying? So we yeah. appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Well, I was like a I, I was like a thief in the night. I would, I would do it at nighttime. So, yes, I would do it on a late, late night. So when they would wake up in the morning and go to church, it would be right there on the doorstep. And I, and I remember knocking on doors. I was the one being Cortland. And this lady said to me, I, you look familiar from the from the Black Westchester newspaper. And I said, really? She said, yeah, it, it comes to my church on Waverly Street. We just don't know who's bringing the newspaper. <laughs> and I just looked at her and I just started laughing so hard. She said, I don't know. My pastor keeps saying this paper appears 
every Sunday morning. And we don't know how I was getting it. And it was me all alone. I never told her. And my husband looked at me like, you're not going to tell her. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at him like. <laughs> and it was scorching hot that day. I'll never forget. It was about 95 degrees. And she oh, said, we, we walked the whole Saratoga and we came around to be in Cortland. And when she said that, and I just looked at her and chuckled like if she only knew it was me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, my, my, tika, my tika said Tasha supported us from day one, bringing yes. her family to our cupcake events. And Stephanie Swan said, I love it. Yeah. 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 Now, now, Tasha, if, if they if anybody that's listening, because we're going to you know, once we we're going to take this and and edit just put, your, it, on Black West and put yeah. it on Black Westchester. Um, if anybody wants to donate. Right. If they want to donate anything for you and do it, where where can they um, how can they contact you? Oh, they can reach me at Tasha dot Diaz at Yonkers NY dot gov. Oh, wait a minute. I got it right here. Yeah. Keep going. That's um, it. They can call my office, um, which is 914-377-6313. Okay, great, and great. I also have, I know I have my legislative aides information as well, because we like to stay on top of things. So if, if that line is busy, you know, I like it to be another way that they could contact people. Believe it or not, I'm taking calls from, from different districts. They're calling and saying, and I'm not saying it's not my district. Look, if we can help you, this is what we'll do. Right, right, right. That's so Tasha's email contact. right there. Mm -hmm. On the bottom, we, we put I put it on the bottom of the screen. So that's that that's Tasha's that that's Tasha email for people that um that if you if you're looking Yonkers, you need help, you need some assistance, and 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 you need to know um, get an update what's going on with 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 with, with the coronavirus. Um, that's her email. If you want to do if if you want to donate. Um, that's a um that that's the information right there. Um and of course, my wife always quick. Yes, I would like to donate. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank she you. don't you know, don't play. You know, you, you know. Yo, I want to ask a quick question. Um, since we have you on and we try to dispense as much information as possible. Um, I know when I was um News Twelve interviewed me like last week and before I was on they were talking about some triage tents in Yonkers that were doing testing. So how is the testing being done? How's that going in Yonkers? Um, are people able to get the test? Or if they don't know, how, if they want to be tested, where do they go? Well, they, they set up um, a testing site at St. John's, I mean, St. Joseph's, right up the hill from me, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to see if we can um, get another testing site. That's what we're working on now. Myself and my mm -hmm. colleagues, meaning my Cater, Shanae. Um, uh oh, she froze. Yeah, she froze for a minute. Um, Lisa Mitchell said I was away for a minute. Please post that information for me so I can get the word out about the donations. Lisa Mitchell, her email address is at the bottom of the screen. I'm so going to put it in the room. I just texted yeah. her to let her know that she she froze. Right, 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 right. Um, and Shout out to Denise Hayes. She said good morning. Um, for everybody that's tuned in, um, this is our online edition of Black Westchester and People Before Politics. We're just navigating through the new normal, the uncharted waters to try to continue to get y'all the information as best we can in any format that we can. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, David just shared the, the, the email address, uh, Lisa. Um, oh, Tasha, that's oh, email oh address. Come back. That's her email address, Tom. Yeah, that's Lisa. That's her email address. You can email her there, and um, she'll get back to you. Um, and if for any reason you have a hard time getting in touch with her or something, uh, let me know, and I'll make sure that I get the two of y'all together. So, um, she was. Um, she yeah. 
Oh shit. But but um Where you at, you know, this, Yeah, this is this is a uh, um oh, wait, you know, so, while you while while you, you you getting overburdened with you know the politicians talking about corona and all that other yeah. stuff. <laughs> All right, she's back. We wanted to take this time to highlight some 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 unsung heroes that's out there doing the job, man. Not just doing, just not just talking on TV and just having um, press conference. I mean, um, live videos or, or or just taking photo ops, just just to look like they're doing something. But someone who's actually out there doing doing the damn thing, you know. So, and Lorraine just posted the number for you to call. So, Damon posted the email address. Lorraine posted the number. So, right. that's how you get in touch with Tasha. So, you were talking about you and your colleagues when you froze. You and your colleagues trying to get some more testing sites, and you said that's you, Mike Cater, and I think you froze right there. So, Yeah, Shanae. Um, Mike Cater, myself, and Shanae, we were working on um, trying to see if we can get another testing site. Um, as you know, the, the numbers are rapidly growing in Yonkers. Um, and from when we get the numbers, from what we're told, those numbers are not current. So mm -hmm. right. let's say if we get them on a Wednesday, those could be Tuesday numbers. Mm -hmm. So right. we're always behind. Like the other day, we were at 834. Um, we opened up yesterday, we were at 934. That's almost 1,000. That's almost a 100 increase in 24 hours. Something is not right. Something right. is behind. Right. So, and where are the clusters usually? In the areas where the density is. Where's the F density? F On the F south side because F we F have the buildings. My building F has 64 units. Um, we have 7383 with 120 plus units. We have 100 Harriet with 120 plus units. So we're in the works of doing different things to mandate that, you know, cleaning be done in the buildings. Um, mm -hmm. daily, if not uh, at least twice a day. Um, I spoke to my building about um, hand sanitizers being stationed in the building, at least one. I know they're hard to get right now, but at least one when available, even after all of this is all over. So right. we can continue, you know? Mm -hmm. So at least coming in and exiting the building, people can be a little bit cleanly when you're pressing the buttons and opening up the stairwells and things. If there's, if, if, if there's hand sanitizer available, you know, once we get rid of this, we can keep it at an all-time low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, we've, we've been trying to see exactly where the clusters are. They're not releasing that to us. They, wow. they are not giving us a breakdown. They're not wow. giving us addresses. They're not giving us anything. The only ones that have that right now are the first responders because they need to know, you know, if they're going in, I guess, into an area or into a building right. with, so they know. But right. they're not releasing it to us. And we're not even asking for names or addresses. We want we want to know, like New Rochelle, where are the hot spots? Right. Exactly. So we're trying to target the hot spots. We're not even getting that. Really? Wow. No, we're not even getting the hot spots. So I can't even tell you, I mean, I, from from my feeling, I know that it's on the south side of Yonkers heavy because this is where the buildings are. Right. Absolutely. But Absolutely. they're not giving us a breakdown. They're not saying always oh, uh, it's high on Highland or it's high on Riverdale. Look at Riverdale. You know how many buildings are on Riverdale? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. And no, park, like, and no parking. I know. That's like 200 plus apartments. More. Exactly. exactly. So like Shanae and I was saying, and my cater being citywide, Shanae being in the first district, me being in the third district, we know where it is. Right. You don't have to tell us. We right. know where it is. We just want a little bit of reassurance that, okay, we know this, it's here. How can we help it here? Like, I know they did the power washing of the bus stops mm. and um, the train station. Okay, can we get a power wash in the parks? Mm -hmm. Can we power wash the old equipment down? Because we know it's old. The old equipment down, can we get a power wash over there? You're telling the kids to stay out of the park. Yes, they're staying out of the park. Can you come through and power wash? While right. everyone is inside, this is when we need to be taking the initiative to do Absolutely. the proper cleaning while people are inside. Absolutely. Um, what's disturbing me the most is, I hate when they say, we haven't found it here, we haven't. Why are you not being proactive? You're supposed to beat it. This is death knocking at a door. 
Beat it before it gets there. Sanitize a building before it even makes it into the building. Exactly. Exactly. So if it does come, you lower the chances of it spreading or even getting, you know, contamination into the building. They're not doing that. They're waiting to see, oh, we didn't, it's not here. It's not here. No. Why are you waiting for it to come? Are are they cleaning the schools while while schools are closed? Are they cleaning the schools? Yes, they're supposed to be cleaning the schools while the schools are closed. That was one of the um, issues that we had from a couple of the maintenance men and things like that. Uh, uh, They're scared. And I understand because we don't, one day they're telling you wear a mask only if you feel like, you know, um, you've been around someone and you don't want to spread it. Now they're saying, you know, you should be wearing a mask when you're going out because people talking and breathing and spitting. And I mean, every day is something new. The best thing I've been doing, like Dr. Rob- Robotti told me, is stay with your vitamin C. So every time, every morning that I get up, I take a glass of orange juice. And what I do is I take the airborne. I dilute mm-hmm. it in a little bit of hot water and I pour the airborne straight into my orange juice. So I'm, I'm, I'm boosting up my immune system and I'm taking mm-hmm. the orange juice every day. Mm-hmm. That's eat one your of fruits and vegetables. That's why I keep telling people, eat your fruits and your vegetables. Yes, yes. And um, they called me and said that they're going to be, um, they want me to go with them to distribute some fruits and vegetables. So Good. I hope they get back to me. Um, Good. Because I really want to do that. Because we know that fruits and vegetables is what we need to survive through this, A. And B, we know that most people of color, they don't go for that. They go for the junk food. No, they go for the junk food. They go for the junk food. They need to know that they need to eat healthy. Because this is serious. They need to know that they need to eat healthy. And sometimes it's not available. Like if you go to exactly. any bodega, there's nothing but junk food and stuff that's mm-hmm. not good for you. You don't readily find a lot of fruits. I mean, the one around the corner for me, they starting to carry like bananas and oranges a little mm-hmm. bit, you know. But but still, it's not the same thing. Like there's 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 a bunch of bodegas within walking distance, and very there's very little anything healthy. In that's why we have so- to live outside the box. We have to live outside the box. That goes back to me saying I didn't become a product of my environment because I see people say, I don't like vegetables. What do you mean you don't like vegetables? It, it, there's different. There's so many different ways that you could do vegetables. For, I mean, come on. But that was one of the things my grandmother made us eat. You're not, mm-hmm. she always said, you, you need to have a meat, a starch, and a vegetable. And she would tell us, you're not going to fill up on meat and you're not going to fill up on that starch. You're going to eat some of them vegetables. Mm-hmm. Right. That was one thing she didn't play. And, and you can juice and you can make taste. smoothies. Yeah. Yes. Oh well, so you can yeah. juice and you can make smoothies. I'm like, I'm gonna have a smoothie as soon as we get off of here. And so, so, so am I. And, mm-hmm. and, and I know I'm gonna have my strawberry banana one. There you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. Hector Sandy Santiago. He asked a political question. He I was said, gonna read that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta. I you know, I'm gonna read what's up there, man. It is what it is. Um, can we count on Tasha's endorsement? For Mimi Roca. Can you count on Tasha? Can he count on? Is he her um, campaign manager? I, I no, he, he's he's working with her in Yonkers. That I don't I, know. I don't, I, he, that, he's I not the campaign. He's, he's not a campaign just, manager, but he's working, maybe doing some social media promotions and stuff for her in Yonkers or something. Mimi Roca has my number. We've been talking. We, she know what we have in the works. Okay, that's that's it. That's uh, the answer to the question. Um, Stephen Simpson says, "Hi everyone, a bit late, but I agree. Eat those veggies." Yes, I was on the phone with Steve Simpson yesterday. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> great, great, great. Um, Hector said he's the Yonkers organizer, and also shout to um Charles Stern from Red Blue Talk. Um, Charles Stern and us, we're also going to do a, a joint live together. Um, combine our audience and get some information now. But um, you know, Tosh, like I said, keep doing what you're doing. Um, and um, oh, we were talking about cleaning. Are they doing anything? I know you said they need to clean the buildings. Are they? Are they, uh, is any of that going on? Because that's very important. The hallways, the elevators, the the the, the, the way you gotta hit the button, the, the front doors, and all of that. Everybody got to touch. Are they doing any cleaning in their buildings? Well, of course, in my building, they are. 
And then I go behind the door <laughs> at night and I clean. Yes, I do. My security guard thinks I'm nuts because I go down there and I clean his desk. I clean his chair. I clean. I go in the night and I clean the laundry mat, the community room knobs. I spray all of that with disinfectant. So in my building, we're active. We're working together. This Good. is what they need to do in, in, in certain buildings. They need to work together. Um, we were getting a couple of complaints that buildings were not being cleaned. So mm -hmm. this is another thing that myself, Mike Cater, and Shanae are working on to try to get something out there to I'll building owners about making sure that they have a, a, a clean building. They have to promote yeah. cleanliness. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you, before we go, <laughs> you, you're you in the process of, of writing the governor um, a letter. Yes. Uh, in, and your concerns um, on first responders and essential services, yes. uh, making sure that they, if they, if families fall victim, um, that they are getting the proper benefits that deserve to them uh, while working. Um, you you want to talk about that? Of course. Because yeah. thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you for your service. Um, yes, I would love to to speak on that. Um, yeah. I felt like this was something crucial that needed to be done. Um, like we said, this is rapidly spreading. Thank mm -hmm. you to our first responders and our essential workers that are putting their life on the line every day, you know, to make sure that this is conquered. So I think it's only right that if you have to put yourself on, a, it's not a choice for you. Right. You can't choose to stay home. So I don't think it should be a choice whether if you contract COVID-19 during your your work, why you and your family should not be compensated with the full line of death benefits because mm -hmm. you put yourself on the line. That's so right. now your family is behind. So and, and you, we just found out there was a council person in East Chester, they said that passed away. Wow. From, from COVID. Um, I just seen in New Jersey, there was a principal that passed away from COVID. We had pastors that are passing away from COVID. I mean, pastors don't get paid for what they do, but they're right. somewhat of a first responder. Because when people want some kind of solidarity, who do they call? They call their pastor, their minister. These are the people that they rely on for some kind of comfort. So, oh, shout like to people, the pastor. Shout to the youngest pastor that just passed away. Yes. Um, yeah, that's what you talking yeah. about. Yes. Yeah. And I believe he was um, the pastor at Simra's church. Mm -hmm. Reverend, yeah. Reverend, I think Reverend Norman had it too. And um, he was sick. I'm not sure. If, I knew he got tested. I, I never contact. We never touched bases back. It was positive or not. Mm -hmm. But I know Reverend Norman was sick Was sick also, praying for him too. Mm -hmm. And these are you people know. doing God's work. Exactly. You know, exactly. And, and I just feel as if it's only right that the state give people that are first responders and essential workers give them a full line of death benefits it's mm -hmm. like they're in a it's like they're in a war it's like That's right. you, it's like you're dying in a war and sonia murray said so true say that need to be compensated yes yeah. and yeah. I, I sent damon a copy of a letter the letter so you heard mm -hmm. it here first <laughs> damon has a hard copy <laughs> with my seal, with my information, and also the co-sponsors, which are Mike Cater and Shanae. Uh, we also forwarded to Shelly Mayer, um, the Good. majority leader, Andrea Stewart-Cousins, Gary Prendo, Nada Sage, and also um, Mike Spano will also get a copy, and the governor as well. Good. So these Good. are all people we want to all jump on board and say, this is a no-brainer. That that's right. This is the and number. we can't take it, you know. And 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 we had this talk, Tasha. And I said we can't take it for granted. No. And I don't know if you if if you might remember the story of uh, Ricky Maxwell, who who got hurt. He's a correction officer. He mm -hmm. got hurt. They retired him on Tool Seven C, mm -hmm. but there was a loophole that he lost his benefits. See, so we so so we can't so we can't take it for granted. No. Say, oh well, they're 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 covered, and we're not paying actual attention to how the legislation is structured, mm -hmm. and and then we find a loophole, and then nobody's covered. And and you know, let's get ahead of it. Like you said, these are the things we could get ahead of now. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you got you got a couple, you got what three cops I think in NYPD that passed away. Um, right now in Westchester, no no God 
you know, God bless, no, no first responder mm -hmm. or essential worker that I know of today, you know, has, has passed away. But let's get ahead of this for the yes. family. You yes. know, that, that we, we have to get ahead of it for a family, and that's being proactive. You know, and, so we need, and, to, we, we, need right. to, we need to include the healthcare workers in that, if at all possible, too, because they are on that front line as well. And you know, I don't know if there's something that unions is not something that you know, there's not state or county. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how they're included in that, but they definitely need to be. You know, because. And the healthcare workers are getting sick by the minute as well. Right. Yeah. yeah so they should go down with the essential workers. Yes. Right. They go yeah. down with the essentials. Yeah. Well, they're first, I mean, the nurses, they're, they're first responders, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and any healthcare worker are essential or first responder. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I think. And Damon got the letter. I put the city, the town, the, we had the lawyer draft it up. So mm -hmm. it should be no, like, little loopholes that they can try to like maneuver through because right. the lawyer mm -hmm. right. you know looked over everything and made yeah. sure everything yeah. was no no and it's legit. a good it's a good letter and and we we're, we're gonna do something on it this weekend um and, and post it um mm -hmm. and 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 so people can see the letter and and, and I think it, it, it should be um Chris Johnson and um um who who's the other county legislators out in Yonkers? Um, uh, Tubalo, Jose David Tubalo. Yeah, yeah. Tubalo has has the 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 original copy from the city. So let's see what they do too. And 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 they need to follow up on that also mm -hmm. on on the county level um, with, with with a similar letter to support um, um, first responders and and and, and essential workers mm -hmm. um, um, to to make sure that they get these benefits. And and down the line, I think is is it, it needs to have serious conversations with with labor unions and municipalities. Yes. Um, Absolutely. And you know, I'm union strong. I'm yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm union strong. Exactly. That's one exactly. thing you you know the union came out strong for me. So I have exactly. to make sure that I represent exactly. all of the unions, whether exactly. it be the police, whether it was the fire. Every mm -hmm. union in Yonkers came out for me. Mm -hmm. So need I have to make sure that I they mean, represent it. It has to be, you know. I mean, it's the process. You sit mm -hmm. down, you negotiate. But I, I think, I think for the betterment and moving forward, because um, Dr. Fauci said it is going to happen again. Yes. Let's not be fooled. But yes. we need to, everybody needs to be covered. I, I, you know, I know everything. When you did, I, you know, I was a union delegate for thirteen years. I was on two negotiation committees. I know everything comes down to dollars and cents. I get that. Mm -hmm. I mean, but but sometimes we have to work. We have to. We have to come to a to a medium where we have an understanding that you know the job is respected and and we have these safeguards. You know, yes. I mean, I mean that's that that's what needs to happen. And, and I hope uh, um, the the negotiators for the municipalities and the union presidents leave their ego at the door and and, and sit down and, and, and negotiate um, something that's beneficial um, for both. That that fam because because families are being destroyed right now. Yes, and, and this and is not the time to play politics. Exactly. This is exactly. not. We have people's lives on the line, and I exactly. hope and pray when the governor sees this, being that his brother is one of the ones that are affected, that he looks mm -hmm. at this letter and says, "This is a no brainer." Exactly. 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 Um. Um. Real quick, so there was a comment from Brenda. And she wanted you to know, she said, Tasha, you will actually get more vitamin C from eating the whole orange rather than drinking orange juice, especially if the juice is not made fresh. She, she's my accountability partner. She's down with the whole, the whole, the whole food, uh, food base, um, the whole plant based food um, thing, and she's always telling me that: eat the fruit, don't drink the juice. Eat the fruit, eat the fruit. I don't really like oranges, so that's why. <laughs> I don't. That's why I put the little booster, the airborne boost in there, because I don't. I don't really do orange juice. I don't really like oranges. Yeah. So well, now, so is there anything we haven't asked you since we have you that you want to give to the people? Any information? Anything you want to say to the people? Uh, warnings to stay safe, or anything that you want to get out there? Yeah, I just want the people to. You know, I just want everyone to stay safe. I want them to take this seriously. 
Um, that's another thing. They need to take this seriously. Please, our young people, when you go outside and you stand outside and you share that cigarette or you share that beer or you're out there with no gloves on and no mask. Or you smoking that weed. Because that's what I seen around my block. They, they passing a blunt around the, around the corner. I'm like, you're going home to someone yeah. that you could potentially carry this to. You don't want to be the one to say, I killed my loved one for over ignorance. Exactly. You don't want that. Mm. And and, and mm. another thing I want people to do is people need to start caring a little bit more. Mm. Stop mm. being selfish. Let me mm. tell you, I was in the when I went to the dollar store last week, there was a guy in there, older guy, older Caucasian guy in there. Um, he was in front of me in line. He had maybe about six items. Um, they weren't taking they weren't taking cash. He had cash. So he said, Oh, you know, there's no way wait, they were taking yeah, no, no, no. They weren't taking cash. He didn't have his card. So I said, you know what? He said, now what am I going to do? I said, you know what? Let me just pay for these items. He was like, how can I pay you back? I said, you know what? God bless you. Take those items. I'll probably never see you again. I hope you be well with them now. Mm -hmm. And people need to do that. Be a yeah. little bit more caring. He was an elderly. And let me tell you something. It was young people on that line with me. Nobody offered to buy this man's stuff. He was ready to leave the store without I think that was a test. God mm -hmm. tests people yeah, absolutely. in different ways. Absolutely. That's right. He absolutely. tests That's people right. in different ways. And people think that I'm not a spiritual person, that I'm not. I was born in I was born and raised in Yonkers, and my church is Community Baptist Church. I was christened, baptized, and married in that church. And that's a lot of things that people don't know about me because I don't go out here and, you know, my spirituality, this and that. God knows. So right. I don't have to put it out there like that. And this is what he's testing everybody. People need to wake up. Check That's on right. your next door neighbor. Give them a loaf of bread. Don't wait for people to ask you for anything. If you see that it's needed and it needs to be done, take the initiative and go out That's and do right. what you got to do. Don't That's sit here right. and say, oh, Miss such and such was sick. She never asked me. But no, they shouldn't have to ask you. Go out and do what you need to do. That's right. You need to be more, be less selfish. Stop thinking about yourself. <laughs> Think right. about other people. You have to. That's right. That's and people right. say to me, you go out there every day. Are you crazy? And this is what I tell them. Before I go out, I ask God to cover me in the blood of Jesus every time I leave this house. I pray not only for myself, but for my family members, for people that have it, for people that are in the midst of contracting it. I just pray for everybody. That's what mm -hmm. he's testing us. People don't That's realize right. that. This is a test. You have That's to right. make sure that you go out and you think about others. Because if you don't, you may not live to see right. the next day. That's right. And you don't want to die with any regrets either. That's right. You That's don't. right. That's right. Well, you took us to church yeah. last time. No doubt. I, I just want you, I want you to know, I want you to know that um uh, Every time I see you out there, I make sure that I, I, I cover you in prayer too. Um, yes. I make sure that Thank I pray you. for you. And, 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 and I, I want to encourage everybody to pray for our first responders. Yes. And that includes corrections and healthcare. Mm -hmm. All the people, even your Uber drivers that's, yes. that's driving people and your delivery people that's delivering food. Like yes. pray for all of those out there, that, the supermarket workers on the cashier line. Like pray for all those people. You know what I'm saying? Um, just pray for them daily because we got to cover them in prayer because they're on the front line. And if they don't provide these services, we don't have them. Like, I, I, I really don't want to go out to that. I got to go give my, my medication for Rite Aid. Pray for all the people in there. I'm praying for God to go through there and clear that place up before I get there. Whatever's in there, they ain't supposed to be in there. Get it out before I even get there. You know what I'm saying? But you got to, we got to, God's trying to get our attention, definitely. And, he um, is. Yes. I, I say that on every live. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just um, you know, for those people that are watching live and and those that will watch down the road, um, Tasha is an elected official that that the black brown communities, not just Yonkers, but throughout Westchester, we 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 have to get behind and support yes. because the spirit that this sister has. And what she's doing um, yes. is not the norm 
um, is, is not the norm in black politics. So I'm telling people we got to get around her because 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 sooner or later um, she's going to test the po powers that be because they're they're not going to want her. No, they don't uh, want me now. Exactly. They don't <laughs> want me then. They don't want me now. Because you're, you're making them look bad. When they make them look bad. Yes, when they say to me, "How is City Hall treating you?" I look at them and say, "Is the question is." How am I treating City Hall? City Hall. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. And you know, and, and we just gotta support her, man. We 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 can't. There's a lot, you know. I mean, I've been doing this for a minute, and there's a lot of good people with good intentions, and and they just and they get crushed by this system, man. And you know, and and y'all know my story. I ain't gotta say it, you know. But I'm still here, mm -hmm. but you know, you know, by the Most High, man. And we gotta support those you know, who are out there and, and, and are genuine and loving the people. And we can't allow um, this system and, 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 and this process to, to, to destroy people, you know, so, so big shout out. And, you know, we're here, you know, we, we, we're here and, you know, I'll come out swinging. I have no problem, you know, and um, I'm, I'm just, I'm just proud to see you um, do what you do. And, um, you. I wanted to bring you on so you could talk about Yonkers and talk about what you're doing and, and let people, you know, let people know, you know, this, this, this virus, you know, people are noticing things on how they treat black and brown communities. And, and as we go on and then, and the data starts coming and they start giving real data, mm -hmm. we're going to see that, that our communities are, are, are going to be hit harder with this than, than any other community, man. And, and, and the thing is, you know, how do we address it moving forward? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, how we address it moving forward. But, you know, Tasha, I want to thank you. Um, AJ, is anything else you want to say? No, nah, you know, I just want to thank you, too. And and, and it's a pleasure um, to be affiliated with you. Thank you. And, 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 and to be able to have this forum to be able to showcase people like yourself so people, you know, because it's like sometimes you give up hope, you lose hope, and sometimes yeah. you need to see people like you that are actually doing stuff. It 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 it, it restores people's faith in humanity. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, you just keep being you. Don't let them change you. Like Damon said, we got your back. Don't worry about that. You need us. We're there. You just holler. We there. And um, everybody um. Um, that want to make donations again. Um, the information will post it again. Her email address and her phone number. Mm -hmm. We have to support those that are supporting our community, and um, those who are. You know, you give to them big organizations, and you don't really see where it's mm -hmm. going. Um, you can see the late the, the fruit of her labor. It's it, you know you can, you can see it. So if you really want to donate something to somebody, and you want um, definitely reach out. And if you're in need, definitely reach out to her as well. So uh, I'm one of the ones me? that are actually born and bred in Yonkers, sitting on that city council. <laughs> so I know what it was then. I know what it is now, and I know what the future of Yonkers should be. You got and a couple I of comments. We are behind. You so got a couple of comments, sir. Moving Yonkers okay. forward. Absolutely, Sonia Murray said thank you. Bunch of hand claps, a bunch of hearts. Stephanie Swan said a true woman of faith and encouragement. Um, Kwame Madden said, that's right. Lorraine, Lorraine Lopez says she's the real deal. A tsunami. Hector Santiago said, baby. preach. Um, uh, um, Stephanie Swan said, God got it. Um, Sonia Murray said, amen. Um, and we'll be adding you to the, to my prayers, my sister. Um, Thank and, you. um, she said, yes, my sister speak that biblical truth. Um, say that that's right. Um, say that again. Um, and that's the kind of comments you got. Stay safe, Thank um, you. all that good stuff. So, so you got a lot of love um, from the listeners. Um, and I'm not doing gonna, it for um, the cloud. People say, "Oh, she's doing it for the cloud." I'm not doing it for the cloud. Uh, I mean, you know, me. that's, that's yeah, of you know, course. That's, that that's that's the haters, you know. They 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 hating on you, but they ain't out there doing nothing. They they ain't out there doing. And they got to deal with me for four plus years because I'm here <laughs> constitutionally. 
for four <laughs> years thanks to the people of the city of Yonkers in District 3. And she don't she don't only go out there by herself. Yo, still was something. Oh, when the fire happened in Sinead's district, she was like, AJ, we need you. Um, I'm coming to pick you up. Like, <laughs> she, she came and made yeah, sure that play. I was here so I could cover it. it. We so I could cover play. it and bring some attention to that. And she 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 rallies the troops, man. So, you know, um, keep doing what you're doing. That, that's it for me, man. This um, I, I, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. This is Black thank West Justice Preserves People Before Politics, a little the little Black West Just a Power Hour. Um, you know, we're going to try to do a lot of these, showcase some more people. Um, we're going to bring you some of the interviews that we had to cancel. Um, we're going